What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be hopping in to some Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game number two. We're going to be loading in to Indianapolis and we're going to be doing two races. The challenge, where does the challenge aspect come in? You guys know, oh you guys know, there has to be a challenge. Now, what is that challenge? That challenge is going to be this. Let me explain it. So in the first moto, I'm going to go off the start and try and get the biggest lead possible. And then that lead gap is going to be the head start that I give the AIs in the second race. We're going to be doing a race against the realistic AIs and it's going to be the medium race length. So we're going to have 10 minutes each race to get this done. It should be pretty fun. I know Ty Lin used to do this with his MXGP series. He would go ahead and in the first moto, try and get a head start. And then in the second moto, do a, a head start for the AIs, give them a head start. And he would base that off of his first moto results. So it definitely spices things up a little bit. I think it's going to be fun. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me. Throw any comments down below. Check out the Once Company linked in the description. Guys, if you are interested in getting any seven gear, make sure to to use code GOONZIG7 at checkout for 10% off. That's 7MX. If you guys want anything from the website, GOONZIG7 for 10% off. Other than that, follow me on Instagram. And I think without further ado, it is time to get Sandy here in Indianapolis. Oh man, Indianapolis, this track it's a ton of fun, and the one thing about this track, I chose to do it on 250s. I don't know why, I just haven't been on a 250 in a while. But the one thing about this track is that when you're on a 450, you can definitely bust out some big lines. And on a 250, they are a lot harder to nail. Now, we gotta go. We gotta, we gotta race to win, pretty much. Um, this moto, here, here's what's going down, guys. This moto, my goal is to get the biggest lead possible. So, we're off to, I mean, the perfect start, grabbing that whole shot, getting out to the lead, like, that is what we need. Now, basically, I guess it's not, it's not a 10 minute race, what is it, 8 minutes? We have 8 minutes to try and make the comeback happen. Not the comeback, man, what am I saying? 8 minutes, man, I'm so used to doing comebacks. <laughs> 8 minutes to get the biggest lead possible. I totally, like, ruined that section, but we're starting to kind of open up that gap. Let's see what we can do. Seven minutes to go. And I'm just going to try and check out. But Indianapolis, such an interesting track because there are bigger lines you can hit. Like, you can kind of come out, like, wider here and get this triple on. I don't even know why I, why I tried it because I did not have the speed. But on a 450, the lines become, I mean, a lot easier. But we're already starting to check out from these AIs. Let's go. I think the one thing about this challenge is I could have a really good race in this first moto and then when we go into the second moto, I mean I could ride like an absolute goon, but then it could also go like the other way as well. I could ride really terrible in this first race and only get like, I mean, a, a 10 second lead, a 5 second lead, a 2 second lead, and then when we go into the second moto, we're not giving the AIs a huge head start and if I end up riding like a lot better in the second moto it's going to be easy for that uh, comeback challenge to to actually happen and be possible so we're already getting a lead though 14 seconds so far up on luke rensland and i'm just kind of cruising right now kind of trying to find a flow for the last half of the race here and uh, i don't want to make any major mistakes i think this track is i mean one of my favorites within the game just because there's kind of a variety of sections within the track. There are your tricky sections, the easier sections. Oh man, big mistake right there. Can I salvage a line through here? Let's see what I can do. Triple into the corner. Okay, not bad. At least I didn't go down. But this track, you start off with, I mean, a pretty simple start straight. Then right away you're hit with, in my opinion, a pretty tricky rhythm section to get this this line that I just did not make, man, casing the triple into the corner, but to get that line on a 250, you have to be on it, then you're kind of in this, like, simpler section, just whoops, triple jump right here, into, wow, I cased that a little bit too, man, but into, like, a double-double or a triple single into this double across the start straight, and then here, 
this section, man, on a 450, it's so easy to bust out a bigger line at the start. Like, jumping into this section, you can triple. On a 250, I can make the triple, but it's not clean, it's not pretty, and it's pretty inconsistent. So, uh, yeah, I'm just taking, I'm taking the easy lines here today because I don't want to be making mistakes. So we have caught up to the back of the pack now. And we're actually lapping some riders. So this could, once again, go both ways. We're either going to get through here clean and progress through the field, or we're going to get into some carnage here while we're trying to make these passes happen. Uh, we're actually 31 seconds, man. 31 seconds ahead right now. And I don't think, I don't think there's a single chance we're making that comeback challenge happen. 31 seconds down, holy. We still have two minutes to go, so we could honestly, we could probably get pretty close to being at a 40 second lead, which means the next moto is gonna be pretty interesting, but we usually do a 20 second head start, man. Usually in the career mode, I'm like, okay, 20 second head start, it usually works out where it's like a last lap pass for the win and uh, if you make any mistakes or anything you're kind of just ruining your race and costing yourself positions but 40 seconds we're gonna be pushing 40 seconds here for this second moto I'm pumped this is gonna be awesome all right I'm gonna try this triple line so if we come all the way out here third gear get on the gas triple onto the table we barely made it oh and then we single into the corner that's kind of funky. I don't really know how I feel about that. I don't like that line at all. I actually don't even think it was quicker, to be honest. So guys, we are on to the last lap, and we actually just lapped Dylan Ferrandez, who is chilling in P5. So we have lapped all the way up in to the top five, which is... That's pretty crazy, man. That is pretty crazy. We were shredding this race. I've kind of started to make a few mistakes here at the end, but... 41 seconds up on Osborne. Man, are we going to be able to make the, the comeback happen? That's going to be tough. There we go. Man, <laughs> man, we had a huge lead. 45 seconds. A 45 second lead. So what does that mean, guys? What does that mean? That means that going into this next moto, I'm not moving off the gate for 45 seconds. That's almost a minute, man. We're almost doing a one minute down challenge, which is, <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna be possible. We're gonna have to attack the track. We're gonna have to hit super clean lines. We can't make any mistakes. Let's go. 45 seconds down, let's hit the track. And it actually looks like we're gonna have to go through a death trap of riders five seconds now before we get to go are you guys ready for this let's go hit the track on the gas man oh man we made it through clean okay we have possibly the biggest comeback in the history of comebacks on our hands right now we have to make sure we do not mess up oh, already making mistakes okay i still made it into the corner not too bad there is the leader zach osborne man oh man what i should have done is I should have kept track of points and everything from the first moto, and then I should have, like, kind of did my own little series, you know? Best of two, who comes out on top after, you know, the double moto results. That would have been kind of fun, but, uh, we're just gonna have to see if we can make the comeback happen. Six and a half minutes on the clock, and we are completing our first lap 40 seconds down right now. The leader has a 40 second lead. If I can chop away a few seconds per lap, at his lead we might be able to do it like that lap there six seconds we gained six seconds on Osborne that lap that is huge that is absolutely huge you do that a few laps next thing you know we're in the lead okay so now with just over four minutes to go my biggest worry becomes these guys man the lappers my biggest worry is the lappers them getting in the way we're only 27 seconds down right now so we are gaining time is it enough i'm not sure oh man ruining this section are the ai's gonna cost us a bunch of time they might they might get in the way that's why it's honestly like really easy and kind of really important when you're doing these head start challenges to get out to some clean laps right off the bat because you're not with 
the other riders. I guess these guys aren't loppers. Technically, technically, we're all on the lead lap right now, so they're not loppers. They're just in in my way. They're just people I need to make passes on, and they are in my way. So that's the one issue. You, you really need to get out and uh, hit some clean laps right away because you don't know what will go down when you get in the mix with these guys. You might, you know, miss some big lines. You might make some mistakes. Man, I am struggling with that section every single lap. But we have moved in to the top 10. We got Rensland right here beside us. That'll be the pass for, I believe, 8th. And I gotta see, man, 20 seconds right now. Two and a half minutes, 20 seconds down. I don't think it's gonna be possible. Oh man, I blew this corner too. There we go, nice flow through here. Indini, we're coming for you, man. Can I get the pass in on him? Okay. My biggest issue is I think Osborne has kind of left the building. The Loppers, these guys, I guess they're not Loppers. I keep calling them Loppers. They weren't really an issue. They didn't get in my way. The biggest problem right now is I think the leader, Zach Osborne, has left the building. I, I think he is just gone compared to everyone else. So, you know how disappointed I'm going to be if I come this far to get a second place finish? He is 18 seconds ahead. And second place right now is only 4 seconds ahead. So, uh, yeah, he has... He has most definitely left the building. Just under a minute now, and we are in, we are into P2. But just like I, just like I mentioned, man, Osborne, <laughs> Osborne has left the building, and I gotta give it to him. You know, he did dominate. Man, I am messing up these sections like crazy. Osborne did dominate when he won his Supercross season, so the man. The man deserves it. The man is on another level in this game, but he is like, he is so far ahead compared to the rest of the AIs. The AIs were kind of like all in, in a group, and then next thing you know, he is like gone. So, um, yeah. 11 seconds, and we're gonna have probably two laps to try and get this done. We might be able to do it. Oh my goodness. That's a huge mistake. Guys. Osborne was within our sights, he was within our grasps, and next thing you know, next thing you know, man, what did I hit? I hit something funky. Those things on the inside of the corners, man, they will get you. All you have to do is tap them, and you go down. So I need a big mistake from Osborne right now, and that would be a huge advantage on my end. Aw, oh, dude, nine seconds. How many seconds am I going to gain on this lap? If I gain more than like six, then I'm going to say if we didn't go down on the last lap, we probably would have made the pass, which is a complete bummer. And at the finish line, how far back were we? How far behind, man? That was such a disappointment. Seven wow, seconds. Seven Let's seconds down. So we had an 11 second gap. I went down, that gap probably went back a little bit more and I had a whole lap and I brought it down to seven seconds. Imagine if I didn't crash, we would have been right there. And just like that, I mean, the first moto, I, I didn't go down at all. The second moto, I would say one mistake, one crash costed me seven seconds, which is absolutely crazy. But that's where I'm gonna end it, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me and I will catch you guys in another video. Peace. Out.